Now the hitter for Stony Brook will be Steve Goldstein. He came in to play left field. Steve Goldstein, a freshman from East Meadow, New York. 0 for 1 today. Came into the game at 346. Does have some pop. Three homers and 32 RBI. Well, he's a prime time runners in scoring position. He really is excellent when the game is on the line, understands how to drive in runs, and you know, you saw him come in the game for that particular situation. And once again, the discipline approach in this lineup, understanding even though he hasn't seen this guy necessarily, he understands that he can still work the count and he has to zone him up. We're not going to get the call every time from Gus Roger because the LSU fans wanted that one. And Goldstein is ahead here 2-1. It yeah, looked like a pretty good pitch, certainly. And he's, uh, you know, he's been consistent all night. That's a pitch that he had called previously, but didn't quite give it to Cotton. Goldstein swings hard foul down the right field line. Follow ESPN College Baseball analyst Kyle Peterson on Twitter through the NCAA Men's Baseball Championships. You can log on to twitter.com it's espn underscore omaha and you can file or follow kyle peterson at kp underscore omaha kyle of course does a tremendous job for us uh, covering college baseball all year long on espn U. the 2-2 to goldstein cotton runs it full three and two and even though the gun's showing 79 miles an hour when you've seen a steady diet change-ups off-speed breaking pitches and he hides the ball well that looks like 95. so he knows how to complement his pitches even though he's not busting the radar gun, he's really busting hitters timing. Consistently low to mid 80s, Cotton. Goldstein hammers one to right field, and that could be gone. It is a home run. Steve Goldstein has given his Stony Brook Seawolves a 3 2 lead, a solo shot here in the 10th. It looked like it might hook foul, and it stayed fair off the bat of uh, Chris Cotton. And here we are, Doug. Stony Brook, these guys just don't go away. They don't go away. But once again, this is their hitting approach. I mean, anybody who's turning and burning is pulling this in the stands. This is a pitch in a third that he pulls in and keeps those hands true. And that allows the ball not to hook foul. So they have this inside-out approach through and through this lineup. And it gives them great opportunities to not only hit for average, but hit for power. That's Steve Goldstein's fourth home run of the season. Told you he had a little bit of pop in there. He slugged 497 this year for the Seawolves. And now they have the 3-2 lead. The hitter will be the first baseman, Kevin Courtney. Well, it's impressive when you see left-handed hitters approach left-handed pitchers as if they're seeing righties. I mean, they look very comfortable against lefties. And, and that's a sign of really popular. In the 10th, but Steve Goldstein's fourth home run of the year has given the Seawolves a 3-2 lead here. And one more time, we'll see if Stony Brook can maintain that one-run lead. They're three outs away, going bottom ten in Baton Rouge. 